Hi guys, okay, so today I'm going to be doing my Spencer Hastings look, and she is played by Troy and Belisario, and if I said her name wrong, I'll feel embarrassed, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I pronounced it right. Um, anyway, so, I love her character on the show, her character is like, I just love her and Toby so much together, that just like, so cute. So cute. I don't know. Tell me if you guys think they're adorable too. I think they are. Um, so anyway, this look is like, I took, for each one of these looks, I don't know if I already told you guys this, but like I find a picture from the first one or two seasons, like back when their makeup was like the same most every time. And... I take a picture and I look at that and I try and find the closest things that match up to each one of the pictures. Like I go into my makeup cabinet and I look, okay, what things would match up with this character. Um, so this is what I came up with. Um, I found a really, really gorgeous picture of her in season, I don't know what season it was. But it was really pretty and she was wearing just like a nice berry lip and um, berry cheeks. And she had not super dramatic makeup on but like it carried down under here and it was pretty heavy under the eye. And then the outer corner was pretty heavy too. So I tried to duplicate that as best as I could and I think I did a pretty good job of duplicating the picture. And sorry, I'm like this blush thing. I keep up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that must be really annoying for you guys. So I'm going to stop. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this look and I think that's it. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Too Faced Shadow Insurance like I always do and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and blend it, well not blend it, you know whatever it's called, put it all over your lid, going all the way up to the brow, ah, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to take just like the tiniest bit under my eye, because I'm going to be putting shadow there as well. Then next I'm going to take Wedge by MAC, and it looks like this, and it is just a m nice matte brown color. Um, and I'm going to take that on my 239, and yeah, it's really dirty. Um, and I'm just going to take that and put it all over the lid. Then after that, I'm going to take the same color, Wedge by MAC, and this Lancome Duo thing. Um, that color right there, it's just like a really dark gray. It's called Tempest, I think. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take those two on a Sonia Kashuk crease brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Then I'm going to mix those two colors to get together again on this little tiny pencil type brush and I'm going to run that under my eye. Looks like I got more brown than I did gray. Then after that I'm going to take some more of that Tempest color but just that one not mixed with the wedge um, so just the gray color and I'm going to put this on the outer V. Cause when I was looking at the picture that I'm going off of, which I can't show because I don't want to like get in trouble for some kind of like copyright thing, whatever. Um, so I can't show it, but um, her under eyes were really dark, um, and so was her outer corner. And I'm saying um too much. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, then I'm gonna take my Mac 224 and just blend out. Even if like it doesn't need blending, I always like doing this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I really, I really like this brush. So 
whatever excuse I have to use it, I do. MAC Brulee. Looks like that, and it's just a nice skin color. White skin color. Um, it really blends in with my skin. It's supposed to be a highlight, but I'm so pale that it totally blends in <laughs> with my natural skin color. I'm going to put a little bit on the inner corner and kind of like sweep it in a little bit like that. Next, I'm going to take this Physician's Formula. Um, here, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see all of them. Um, gel Liner Trio, and this is the one for blue eyes. It comes with a navy blue, a brown, and then a black. I'm using the brown one for this. Just because, like, the makeup that she's wearing is kind of harsh in this, but, in like, the picture that I'm going off of, but it's still, like, it's not black. It's not really harsh black on your eyes. It's still brown, so. Okay, sorry I couldn't stay in frame for that. I'm really bad at doing that. Um, but then I'm just going to take some, oh yeah, this brush came with it. Um, next I'm going to, like, put some more on my waterline. Um, yeah, and that was the gel liner, if you weren't following there. <laughs> Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. Um, this is a Sally Hansen eyelash curler, in case you're wondering. Um, and then I'm going to use Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara. And this is in brownish black. And I'm just going to apply a pretty thick coat of this under my lashes. And then I'm going to take a little bit under my lower lashes. So next I'm going to take this CoverGirl in LA Simply Ageless Sculpting Blush in the color... Oh, um, Lush Berry? Yeah. It looks like this, and it's just a really, really nice, dark, I want to call it like a berry color, I guess. Um, plum sort of color, I guess. It's really pretty, though. Um, and it's a cream blush. It was my mom's, but she didn't use it anymore, so she gave it to me. Um, and I have powder on, so I don't know how well this is going to work over powder. I really should have thought before I did that, but oh well. Um, so I'm just going to take this and I'm getting a mirror to blend this out. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to like pat it on. All I did was pat it on and then kind of like circular motions rub it up. And oh gosh, there's still another side. It's probably already dry by now. Nope, it blended. I would recommend not putting on powder before you put on cream blush. But um... And the reason I use cream blush for this is because Spencer in the show always has really just like fresh looking skin I guess you could say so I didn't want to put tons of powder on for it so yeah the next um, the picture showed that she had like a berry color on is what it looked like so I'm gonna be using this Revlon Just Bitten lip balm and stain in the color Desire and it looks like that and I really love these um, but I love the new ones even more the um, kissable lip stains because they're like both of these and just one and this one dried out really quick for me I don't know if it did that for everybody or I just didn't take care of it I don't know but so I'm just gonna put this on and it's a little dry but oh it still works good it works fine uh, and a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube that have used these things always like put the balm on first but I don't do that I put that on second wow I haven't worn this color in so long I actually really like it <laughs> and then I'm gonna put the balm over it um it looks more red on camera right now but it's really not that red it's a really nice um, pink berryish color um, yeah. Okay, so that is it for my Spencer Hastings look. I hope you all enjoyed. And, um, like the video if you liked it. Comment if you want to, I guess. Why not? 
and subscribe if you haven't already because it would mean so much to me and I hit 10 subscribers yesterday and I was so happy oh my gosh I was like freaking out and I just want to thank you all so much for that because that meant like a lot to me um, so the next two videos that are coming up are going to be Pretty Little Liar but I've already done the four main characters so you might be wondering who or you might be smart and already know it I don't know, but um, subscribe if you want to find out who that is, so then you can come back to my videos and check it out. Uh, yeah. So I think that's it, and there are going to be a lot more videos coming up soon, I promise. So I think that's it, and if you want to, if you want to help me out, be a good person, um, I don't know what other videos like I have two more planned and then after that I'm kind of I don't know what other videos to plan so leave me a comment tell me what kind of videos you want to see so then I know what to do because <laughs> I really have no idea so um yeah so thank you all and have a great day great night depending on when you're watching this